A German widow, Nadia, and her son Elias prepare to board a plane to New York. Nadia, who appears to suffer from leukemia, plans to visit a doctor for treatment. At the airport, Elias befriends a man named Farid, while his mother takes medicine that causes her severe discomfort. As the passengers settle down for the evening, a group of men, including the co-pilot Bastion, murder the air marshals and sabotage the black box, preventing the plane from being tracked on radar. Their leader, Berg, announces that he and his men are now in control and expect everyone to stay put until a ransom is paid. Elias tries to hide, and Nadia follows him. A sociopathic hijacker named Eightball sees them and shoots Nadia. Assuming she is dead, the hijackers force Farid to record a statement that makes it appear the plane has been seized by Islamic terrorists for a suicide attack, knowing it will be shot down. As Nadia regains consciousness, she relives the day her husband, Nikolai, died. He had gone to a local farmhouse for help after their car broke down. When he failed to return, Nadia went looking for him and was bitten by his murderer, a vampire who dies during sunrise. Nadia, now a vampire, returned to the farmhouse looking for answers. An elderly vampire attacked her for killing his son and to avoid the spread of the evil, but she beat him to death and escaped with vials of vampire suppressant. Nadia accesses the cargo hold, removes the contacts and dentures that conceal her mutated eyes and fangs, and feeds on a dog. A hijacker catches her in the act, and she kills him and drinks his blood, which fully transforms her into a vampire. She finds Farid, and they regain control of the plane with the help of a student named Mohammed as the hijackers are about to parachute out. Mohammed returns them to their original flight plan. When Berg tries to take back control of the cockpit, Nadia surprises and bites him. If you enjoy watching this video, then subscribe to Angel Recaps for the latest movie's explanation. She stabs him with a knife before he can fully transform. The hijackers task 8 Ball with killing Nadia. He subdues her with UV light and extracts her blood, but as he is about to stake her, Elias accidentally depressurizes the plane with Berg's gun. When Mohammed asphyxiates, the hijackers take back the cockpit and restore the pressure. Eight Ball flees into the cargo hold and injects himself with Nadia's blood, she fails to kill him before he transforms into a vampire. Eight Ball ambushes and kills the other hijackers, except for Bastion. The rest of the passengers arm themselves. Nadia convinces them that she wants to help, and they lock Eight Ball in the hold and secure the plane. Bastion informs Nadia that the plane does not have enough fuel to reach New York, and they must land soon. A dying passenger releases Eight Ball in the hopes of being bitten, instead, Eight Ball kills him and proceeds to turn most of the other passengers into vampires. Nadia, knowing that they will escape if the plane lands, decides to sacrifice herself by using the hijackers' explosives to kill them. Elias stops her and goes himself, but he is surrounded by vampires after grabbing the detonator. Nadia makes Farid promise to look after Elias, then kills and feeds on Bastion. She tries to save her son, but Eight Ball attacks her and drains her blood. As he goes for Elias, Farid steers the plane into the path of the morning sun, causing Eight Ball to burn and fall to his death. Elias uses his blood to save Nadia's life, but she rejects him and flees, knowing that her taste for his blood puts him in danger. The plane lands at an RAF base in Scotland, but the authorities ignore Elias and Farid's pleas and board the plane looking for survivors, resulting in a massacre. Elias escapes from an ambulance and runs back to the plane, seeing his mother feeding on a soldier. Knowing that she is too far gone, he activates the detonator he hid in his teddy bear, seemingly killing her and the other vampires. Farid is released from custody and hugs Elias.